explorers, I'm back from Brussels. I hope you liked those videos. If you haven't actually watched them, go back and watch them because they're good fun. Today's the first of my Comic Con Survival Guide videos. We're talking about my day bag, um, what I put in it. Um, I've been going to conventions for obsessively nearly 20 years. So I've got quite a complete list of things I always take with me. Uh, so I'm gonna show you my bag and what I put in it. My current day bag is a bag of holding. It's from a website called ThinkGeek. It's an American company. Um, I can't remember how much it costs to get now. I got it ages ago. It's a messenger style bag. Um, it's really good, there's loads of different compartments in it. So I'll unpack this bag and show you what to take with me. Um, but first of all, I've got some sad news. The bag of holding here is gonna be retired at the end of this video. Um, it's a really great bag, but for filming, because um, it's a messenger bag, it keeps bumping against my leg. Um, and it's a bit cumbersome when I'm trying to get around and film properly. So I've been experimenting with a backpack. If you've seen the Brussels videos, I took this one, which is a really good size, uh, very maneuverable, um, and I quite like using this actually, it's very comfortable. Apart from, it's not that much space, and the actual storage isn't that good. There's these are no good to put a bottle in and the pocket selection is rubbish. I'd recommend this bag if you're on a budget because it's small, light um, and cost me about £12. I'd, I use this day to day but I wouldn't use it for convention anymore. So if you stick around at the end of the video I'll unveil my all new backpack which will be debuted at MCM Comic Con London. Right once you've equipped your bag uh, next up, you need to fill it with stuff. I'm going to start outside and then work inwards and I'll show you what to take with me. First of all, one of the most vital things, I think, is a water bottle. I actually got this bottle when I went to Whitby Comic Con. Got it for entering the cosplay parade. Um, and I've customised it with a bunch of stickers that my sister got me for Christmas. So, water bottle, vital to save money and to stay hydrated. Next got this cutlery set. I picked this up from Go Outdoors. Uh, it's very useful. Uh, I've got spoons if you want to buy a yoghurt um, or if you buy some pasta or something from Tesco or a supermarket on the way. Uh, you've always got something to help you eat. Next we've got this Tupperware. It's full of trail mix which is a mix of nuts, fruit, uh, sweets, um, fudge, all sorts of stuff. In one of my other videos I'll show you how to make this. I don't know how nutritious it is but it's very filling and again Good way to save some money. All right. Obviously I've got a camera phone, um, who hasn't now, but I actually still carry a separate camera around with me. Uh, it's a little Canon camera, it's a PowerShot N2, uh, also known as a selfie camera. If you've got a rubbish camera phone, take a camera. Also, I like the video on this. What's next? Some sunscreen. Uh, I only use this occasionally because most of the time we're indoors. Oh, this is a good one. Um, my Geek Asylum ID, uh, the Geek Asylum is a Facebook group that I use, uh, check that out. Next, sunglasses, these ones mostly look very cool, they're not very practical indoors because um, they're red, as soon as the light's not very good I basically can't see anything but I look very cool so get yourself some good sunglasses. Uh, next we've got some beat up biscuits, uh, they're still in date. I think these have been in there maybe since last year. Um, so some biscuits, another good snack if you don't want to take trail mix or as well as trail mix. Oh, I can't really see. Uh, right, next. It's a power pack, a phone power pack or a chargeable power pack. Uh, this is Zendure one. I found this by doing a Google search for best power packs. I got the cable from Tiger Tiger. Very useful, especially if you use your phone loads. Um, I barely actually ever use this because I don't use my phone very much. Right, now we have more bags. Uh, this one is to put all of my comics in this I buy because I don't like putting them in here because I get bumped up. And I think a plastic bag's actually the best packet to put a graphic novel or a comic in because it's smooth plastic, the corners of your comic don't get damaged. Um, this one is from Nostalgia and Comics, um, my favourite local comic book store. Recently it's been renamed, but we're not going to use its new name, because it's forever going to be known as Nostalgia and Comics, based in Birmingham. And 
another bag in a bag. Uh, this is a reusable bag. It's quite a cool Ninja Turtles one I picked up from, I think actually, London last year or a couple of years ago. So tote bags, very handy. This one's good because it's actually quite hard wearing and people know that you're extra cool because it's got the turtles on it. Notepad and pen. The pad is from Genki Gear. Um, I use this just to write down notes or maybe I might bump into a celebrity one day and I can get them to sign it. Talking of autographs, uh, I keep this pen with me as well because useful if you again bump into celebrity and this will write on most things like on those paint pens. Uh, it's a gold one. Got my medical kit here. Uh, my medical kit consists of just some paracetamol. Mm, I think the only other thing I'd probably add to my medical kit is some plasters. Business cards, if you think you need some. Um, I use this. These cards are very good, they're from Moo.com. You can write straight onto these with a pen. Um, so very useful to keep a pen with me. Uh, so you can put whatever details you want on there. I use them to promote my book. That's the image off the cover. If you haven't bought my book, it's available on Amazon. Get it now. Right, the other stuff I keep with me, which you probably don't need to bring to a convention, is some flyers if you're trying to promote your book, some tacks to tack them to the walls, and some blue tack. Also, you can put them up in the toilets or in corridors or wherever to get people to buy your book. A rain mac. You might not need this for the summer, it took me ages to decide what rain mac to go with. Um, a lot of fold up rain macs are a lot bigger than you'd think. But this one, I got in a clearance sale from Halfords. It's super light. Um, I've only had to use it once or twice. Other things I'd recommend taking that I don't take with me are. Um, a sewing kit so if you're a cosplayer this could be very useful or maybe you've only taken one pair of trousers with you and you split them so sewing kit could be useful another thing that could be useful that i don't necessarily take with me are wet wipes uh useful for people who smell or you've got very sticky hands because you've eaten i don't know some gross food so maybe wet wipes are worth considering and then the last thing is a poster holder. Um, you can buy one or you could just use a tube that you had a poster delivered in. My new bag is the SDM Haven Backpack. It's a commuter style bag designed for a laptop. Uh, I got it just because it's a bit bigger than the backpack, the Eurohype backpack I showed earlier. But there's loads of pockets in it. Um, so hopefully this will work out a lot better for me for conventions. And also the pockets on the sides are the right size to put drinks in. This is a new bag. Um, I'm going to load it up and then you can have a bit of a closer look at it. So this is the STM Haven. I picked it up off Amazon. Um, we're going to have a quick look inside so you can see how everything fits in and also I'll show you a few of the bits I forgot to mention earlier. First of all, something that's worth picking up and um, keeping with you for the weekend, if you have it, is a show guide. Um, that's the one I picked up at Birmingham earlier this year. Now before we get into the main part, at the side we've got a pouch for my drinks bottle, fits nice there. And this side, another pouch, um, where I've got my reusable bag. Let's look in the first compartment. Loads of little pockets here, keeps everything nice and organised. We've got some tissues as well, which I didn't mention, useful for if you've got a snotty nose. And some hand sanitizer, helpful for protecting against getting ill. Right, we've got the main compartment here. We've got sunglasses at the front, a pouch down at the bottom there to keep my jacket in, a pouch at the back. And then right at the bottom, we've got the trail mix and also my charging pack's currently down there. Then right at the back, this bit here is quite sturdy. Uh, the idea is for laptops, but I was just going to use it to put graphic novels and comic books in there. This is the back of the bag. Sturdy back, handle on the top straps pretty standard backpack fare all right so this is all loaded up um, you can see uh, how nice it's all packed up in there uh, there's lots of space and there should be loads of space to fit all my bits and pieces in as i buy them throughout the day and any other bits that i want to stick in 
Um, so watch my upcoming videos to see how I get on with this. Hopefully I won't hate it. <sighs> Very practical and it's even got a little clip at the front so I can make it like a proper explorer. Uh, next week on the Thursday we're off to London I uh, will be doing a travel day video. Not completely sure yet what we're going to do once we're in London. I think we'll probably go to Camden Market to get some nice lunch. I want to go to Stratford to go on that big red slide that's at the Olympic Village and we'll show you around our hotel and then we'll film for at least two of the days of the convention, maybe three, depending on how much stuff there's there. I don't want to waste your time with rubbish videos. But thank you very much for watching. Leave a comment, tell me what you thought, tell me if you want to see more of these videos. Put any suggestions to things that you take with you to conventions that could be useful for others. Uh, it should be more of a discussion rather than me just telling everyone what to do. As long as you don't call me names, I don't mind what you put down there. No dick pics. What other things you meant to say? Oh yeah. Put a like and I think that's it. Do a comment, put a like and subscribe to my channel and ring the bell and buy my book. It's still available on Amazon, but that's it for now. I'll see you in London.